Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I haven't uploaded in probably about a week because I've been traveling for work, but um, when I came home, I had a new Bud K SHTF box. This is the $20 box, and it really is 20 bucks because I get free shipping and I don't pay any tax, so uh, it's... A good deal. I mean, last month I was not happy with the contents of the box. I, you know, it was kind of a letdown compared to some of the other boxes, but I still feel for $20 it's a pretty good deal. So today we're going to be unboxing it with this um, silly steampunk knife. Um, I don't know why I have this, but um, inexpensive knife. I think it was like four bucks. So. It fits with the theme of the Bud K. You get budget gear, uh, you know, 20 bucks. I mean, what are you going to expect here? So, and we are opening this box upside down. That's been very reliable that they always, and here we go, put the card on the bottom. And I did just cut the crap out of that thing because, yeah, the knife went. When I was cutting through the tape there, I cut the card. Anyways, okay, so we got different subscription levels here. We got the primary, which is what I have. That's what we're unboxing today. Then you get the Pro and the Elite box. Um, so the Pro is 50 bucks a month. Elite is 90 bucks a month. And then they put the retail values uh, beside that there. Um, you know, usually the primary box is the retail value is about twofold or more, sometimes threefold. <clears throat> in this case, in this case, it's closer to threefold, more than what you pay. Um, the Pro and the Elite, it, it isn't that you get better stuff; it's that you get more stuff usually. Um, so sometimes, you know, you, boxes give you the cheaper stuff and the cheaper boxes. But uh, my experience with this has been, you don't really get higher quality stuff in the Pro and the Elite. It's you just get more stuff, but my personal opinion. Um, so I'm going to pause this for a second, get everything out of the box, organize it, and then we'll go through item by item. Okay, so instead of going in order, I'm going to go through in what I think are the least interesting items to the most interesting. So uh, we're going to start out with the waterproof first aid guide, which is that guy. So. Uh, in the past few boxes, they've been giving us more and more of these where it's basically a laminated brochure. And, you know, they, it has some useful information in it, but not a lot of information. So, um, I never am thrilled with these. Uh, I mean, yes, they're laminated, so they should stand up to weather, but I don't know. I just, it's a brochure. I mean, it's, it has... <laughs> Useful information, but I don't know. I just, they, they, they're they saying this is worth eight bucks. No, I mean, if they, if somebody was handing that out for free, sure. But, you know, eight dollars to look at a brochure on how to do some basic first aid. No, I would not buy that ever. Okay, <clears throat> next thing is the five-in-one survival whistle. And it's by Trailblazer. So Trailblazer is very common in these boxes. Um, I mean, you get a lot of Trailblazer gear. And there's the model number if you're interested. Now, the the funny thing about these is, you know, it's five and one, but it doesn't tell you what the five things are. So you just have to look at it and figure it out for yourself. So let's let's do that. Let's open it up and get this get this thing out. <laughs> And see what the five and one is. So obviously, we got the whistle. That's decently loud. Uh, we got a compass, and then this screws off. Oh, there's a mirror. So a signal mirror. There's item number three, and then we got a a case there where you could put some waterproof matches or something. Although th there is no. There's no O-ring or anything around this, so this this case is not in and of itself waterproof. So, uh, you know, that's a little disappointing. Um, so 
that's four things. I'm not sure what number five is. I don't see anything obvious that makes five things. I'll have to look that up with the, because there's nothing that pops out of there. So, got yeah. <laughs> Whistle, compass, mirror, and then a case. Um, I don't know if they're calling the lanyard the fifth thing, but if that's true, then that sucks. But uh, it is China, China made, of course, which all the Trailblazer stuff is. Um, you know, I don't know. It's it's cheap. I mean, that this is better than those little tiny button compasses. Um, that is not accurate at all because um, north is is that way. So that sucks. That thing is not working at all. I mean, if I set this on here and try and make it a little more level, it's still pointing the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can see when I turn it, it just, it stays. You know, so now it's pointing right, because I turned it. So that compass is no bueno. Um, yeah, that thing, that thing does not work worth a shit. Okay, so that is pretty crappy. A non-waterproof case, a crappy non-functioning compass, and then a little whistle that, I mean, that's huge. If you're gonna carry, carry it just for the whistle, that's huge. That's a huge thing to carry around for that. Okay, all right, I'll stop ripping on that. Um, Next thing we're going to look at is the uh, the two pack tent light for six ninety nine, and that is also by Trailblazer. So let's get these guys out. Um, I doubt they have batteries in them. Probably a double uh, A AA or a triple A. Let's see. Oh yeah, we got three triple A's. Um, let me get a, a few triple A's and see how she looks. So guys, I tried and tried with to get this thing to work, but um, and I got fresh batteries in there, brand new. First time I turned it on, it was super bright. Now it's super dim, and I, I'm not sure why, but that there's supposed to be a high, a low, and a strobe function. I don't know why you'd want strobe for a tent light, but um, I guess we can try. I didn't try the other one. Maybe that one's defective. Um, but you know, if they're, they're cheap plastic lights, but you know, when I, f when I first turned it on, it was, it was pretty bright. So I thought, yeah, well, it'd be pretty decent, but man, I, I don't know why, I don't know why it's not turning on bright again. It's, it's only going to the, to the super dim. And now this one doesn't even want to screw on there. It's right on there, right? There we go. All right. <clears throat> okay, let's see if it turns on. There we go. See, that's bright. I don't know what's wrong with the other one. Uh, so that's the high. Then you got your dim. And then you got your strobe function. So this one works just fine. Um, so you got one dud. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with this one. But uh, I didn't. I didn't do anything to it. So. Six bucks for one light is what I'm thinking, because this, the other one, <laughs> this one here doesn't work. I mean, gives you, I don't know, a tenth of the light output. So I'm going to call that defective. We got one defective and one decent one. But the one that's, that, that works is, is good. I mean, I, I, it's, it's pretty small. Puts out a decent amount of light. So... You can hang that. It's got a little hanger for your tent. So you can hang that up inside at night. Have some light for reading or whatever. Um, you know, and then you can put it on dim so it lasts longer. It doesn't say in here how long these things are supposed to last. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. But I don't, I, I don't understand the strobe function. You're going to have a party in your tent and put on a strobe or what? I, I don't get it. So that's a little weird, but that's the lights. Okay, so we got the next thing here, which is the 
self-inflatable pillow for $12.99. And that would be this thing here from Intense Self-Inflating Camp Pillow. So the self-inflating, usually, you know, you just open up a valve and lay it out, and it passively fills with air, and then you just close the valve off. So let's get it out. Let's see what it looks like. Um, so we got a little nice little nylon carry bag here. Um, so let's see see what she looks like. Okay, so you got some some little nylon straps here to hold it all together, and then I mean this is for a camp pillow, probably bigger than what I'd want to carry backpacking, but you know just for tent camping near the car or something that's this, this would work all right so you just open up that valve there and then you let it lay out and it should fill up with air so we'll set that aside see if she fills up here um, we'll come back to that okay next thing get that off there next thing is we've got a folding hand saw for $9.99 so there we go. Gotten similar things from this box in the past. You know, another trailblazer. Does have a bit of a rattle to it, which is that rattling around. So that is not good. I don't like that. Um, see how when it locks up. Yeah, still got still got a little play up there at the pivot. Um, you do have some pretty aggressive looking teeth there, and it is a decent size. Um, the grip is rubberized. This is cheap plastic. So this is this is a very cheap saw. Um, it does not have. It doesn't look like it has a metal liner in there either. So this whole handle is just plastic. So you gotta. I don't know that that may not hold up outside. That'll be easier to break. Um, big thing is like this. This blade is really thin. Do you see how thin that is? I mean, I just I don't know. I that's gonna be really easy to bend, and then it would suck to try and cut anything if you don't have a straight blade. This is just gonna get hung up. So, okay. Um, and then I don't know why it locks like that. That's weird. Um, there we go. All right, now it's all locked back up. So uh, I'm going to say uh, that folding saw isn't worth much. Um, I just I don't think it's going to be very functional out, outside. Uh, personal opinion. We can, we can try it out later. Okay, so we got one, one thing left in the box, which is the knife. So usually... Well, actually, always these things come with a knife. So this is the assisted opening rescue folder, and they got 15 bucks on this, and it's from Timberwolf. Okay, so I have not opened this up yet, so we'll see. We'll see what it looks like together. Okay, so it's black, and we've got an emblem on there, upside down. Timberwolf, leader of the pack. So. Like a lot of these cheap kind of, call them gas station knives, um, you get these, um, well, they call them seat belt cutters, but they, don't, they never cut seat belts. Small cord cutter, I guess. String cutter. Um, you got a, a glass breaker here on the end, and then um, this is going to be assisted opening. Of course, for me, being a lefty, it's not set up for me. Um, there's only one thumb stud. On the for the right right handers there's no flipper on the back so there's really only one way to deploy this you do have a fairly deep carry pocket clip um, it feels a little flimsy but it should work um, you do have a little flare up here at the end um, that may create a hot spot that's a pretty long clip for the size knife you have I mean they could probably get away with stopping it right there, but um, this feels like just plastic. Um, so, you know, not 
This is this is definitely a budget knife. Fifteen dollars. No, you don't pay fifteen dollars for this. This is this is a ten dollar knife. You see these at gun shows all the time. Ten bucks, you can buy this. And there's the action. So it is spring assist, liner lock. Um, it's a pretty thin liner. Um, I mean it it's making good contact. If you can see that, I mean it's it's locking up well. Um, let's let's try that flipper again. Yeah, I mean, I, with the, with the spring assist, you're not going to have issues with it coming out. I mean, it's got a pretty hard spring in there. Um, centering on that is pretty terrible. I mean, look at that. It is almost touching on this side, if you can see that. So, pretty crappy on the centering. Um, the blade itself, um, I mean, it has, it has an edge on there, but I don't know. It does not feel good in the hand. Um, there are a lot of hard edges on here. I mean, you got some scallops here, um, but you can see that that liner lock sticks out. I guess that's okay. That feels all right. You have no jimping um, on the on the blade itself. You do have a little bit here on the uh, body of the knife, but um, I don't know. I don't. I guess that cut out there would be if you're holding it left lefty like me. Well, I guess righty. Your finger fits in there, but that'd be choking up on it pretty far. Uh I don't know. It's uh I I got to say it's not it's not good. It's not I, like I I hate that emblem. It looks stupid. I mean, leader of the pack. You're going to walk around with a knife that says leader of the pack on there. That's the first indication you are not the leader of the pack. Um but let's go ahead and and test the edge here. Um yeah, no no bueno on the edge either. Well, there, got to cut. Not easy. Not easy. She doesn't want to cut. You can get her to, but man, yeah, that's. It's got a little, <laughs> a little sharpness to it, but it's not great. I mean, there we go. I mean that that cut okay. Getting it started though. I mean, you got to hit it at just the right angle to get that. So. Uh, we can try catalog catalog paper here. See if we can get her to cut. No, <laughs> no, that's not gonna work. Uh, oh, there we go. Got it at right, the, just the right angle. Okay, so it cut. Uh, once you get it started, once you get it started, it'll cut a little bit. Man, definitely could be better. Definitely could be better. Uh, I don't know. This is, this is probably going to go in some giveaway, or I'm going to give it to somebody that needs any any kind of knife. They, they don't care what it is. They just want a knife. You know what I mean? I mean, there's just there's a lot not to like about this knife. Um, you have liners in here um, that are steel. They're not skeletonized. Um, it is pretty open, so that's nice. You get in there and clean it. Um, other than that, though, I'm having I'm having trouble with saying good things about this thing. Um, it's light because it's plastic, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. It needs some honing. I would definitely want to hone that. I mean, look at that. I mean, I can just... Yeah, that doesn't feel sharp at all. We can do the fingernail test. It took a little bit. It took a little bit of fingernail on there. Right there, you see it. So, it's somewhat sharp. We'll call it somewhat sharp. It's not razor sharp. It's not as sharp as I'd want a knife that I'm carrying, but, you know... Um, just for comparison, 
right? This they say this is 15 bucks. I think I bought this this stupid uh, steampunk knife for like four dollars. Let's see how she does in comparison. Yeah, let's get it. That feels a lot better. I mean, it, it had the same problem getting started. Um, let's try a different, let's try a fresh page. Yeah, much better, much better. So $4 for that thing. Let's, let's, let's take it back to the regular paper, the printer paper. Way better, way better. Way better, and I, you know, I didn't sharpen that. That's that's how it came out of the box. Um, so four dollars versus what they say is fifteen, and this just feels like a much better knife. I mean, the the handles are still. I, I can't tell what they're made out of. It seems like maybe some kind of nylon inf infused plastic. Maybe I, I don't know, but um, this is four dollars versus fifteen. I'd ha I'd take the four dollar one. All day long, all day long. All right, I'm got our paracord, paracord test with the knife. So let's try to push through first. <clears throat> yeah, not gonna happen. I mean, I don't even think that made a dent. No, I mean that did, that did nothing. That did nothing. So let's try the slice. Okay, it cut. Not a clean cut, but it cut. Um, I just dropped it, but there we go. So that cuts. It'll cut the paracord, not great. It takes some effort. Let's compare that to this, the $4 knife. I mean, look, <laughs> way less effort. Um, very clean cut on that. So, um, I don't know, man. It's not, it's not, a, that's not a $15 knife, I tell you that, that black one. Um, let's try the push through. Try to push through on the phantasm. Let's try to push through. Oops, let me get a little bit more here. <clears throat> nope, phantasm ain't gonna push through either, so. Oh well, but for four bucks. I mean, what can you expect? Still better than the $15 retail value on this thing. So, there you go. Uh, final thoughts on this box are crappy it's crappy oh we didn't check the we didn't check the pillow it is it is inflating it's gonna take a while but it is inflating so that's I mean that that's probably the best thing in this bag or in this box is that pillow that's probably what I'm gonna use the most um, the one light that works might use that this other one I don't know probably just throw it away it doesn't do anything um, it might might futz with it a minute or two more to see if I can get it to work. Um, this thing is complete garbage. Uh, that's almost completely useless. This saw, maybe it might work for five minutes and then be worthless once you bend that blade or uh, break the handle. Um, the first aid thing, not happy with. That is just a filler item. It should be free, in my opinion. I, I don't think anyone would pay eight dollars for that at least nobody that's sane so that's it that's it for this box guys hope you enjoyed we will have more videos coming out here this weekend so thanks a lot for watching see you guys next time